screen survivors. Hmm. All right. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Um, so this is the first separate episode of this season for Alpha 21.1 stable. So it starts at part two. Why? Because on part 22, the last part of Alpha 21.1 experimental, the game crashed uh, midway through what I was doing and I got upset and decided I'm gonna start a new game. And I started a new game, I played about 90 minutes, uh, maybe, I don't know, two hours maybe. Uh, played about two hours and, and then I stopped uh, on day two. Um, so this is where I am now. I I like the world they generated. Um, well, there's look at the, there. There is a link to that last episode on the description. You can go there and watch and see myself uh, uh, generating the world, looking at it, figuring out uh, how good it is or not. Um, I I could restart the game. There, it's just that you will always have luck on, on some stuff and not on others. Fact is, the trader has a nerd goggle. The first trader, the first trader is terrible. It has a nerd goggle. Um, he had a helmet flashlight mod for sale for uh, to sell. I bought that. He had. I bought another thing that was very expensive. Um, it was the helmet mod. And there was one other thing. I really cannot recall what it was. I think it was a magazine, maybe? Yes. Yes, he had a magazine, a Wasteland Treasure magazine. The one that unlocks purified water. So purified water, helmet light mod, and potentially nerd goggles. That's a great start. Now, after that, I screwed things up, uh, mostly at night. Like, I was hungry. Let's... It, that's normal at the beginning of the game, unless like you go all out and not be hungry. And you look out on some things as well. Oh, he also had a cooking pot and I bought it. I bought a cooking pot. Um, so I kind of like where I am. Like having the cooking pots means, okay, food is okay. I'll, I, right now it isn't, but it's going to be okay as soon as I can craft something decent. Um, I really like, need the grill. I believe the grilled, grilled meat, it's gonna be my best option. It's gonna require the grill. Oh, um, and one thing I did, I put points in intellect stuff to advance To, to increase the chance of looting forge ahead on vehicle books. And I have unlocked the forge already. I haven't crafted it, but I have unlocked it. So... That means I don't want to restart. I did screw up at night. I run when I shouldn't have. Then I run out of stamina and despite having three weapons with ammunition i forgot to use them 
and got very hurt and basically I wasted a ton of time just trying to survive from that blunder. Um, now, now that I'm starting like officially the new season instead of just out of I got tired of that. Let's look at the mods. I move, I changed some stuff I was using. So 15 to slot to belt still there. 64 slots still collector still there. Backup mod. Craft barbed wire spindle. Even though I don't really use this, I think it's absurd that you cannot craft those. Um, and eventually I might have, I might go back to using them again. Craft room containers. Honestly, this is a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so painful to go and get these the stuff you want for everything. Yeah. Better dice, longer loot bags, longer loot bags because otherwise, like by the end of Horde Nights, this the bags that dropped at the beginning are have, have despawned already. At least on a nine minutes day. On sixty minute days, maybe you have time. On nine minutes you don't. Drop from storage because I Sometimes it's just so much more convenient to press the done drag and drag stuff out. Elite Optics, which I still haven't found. Ugh. It's my curse. My fun spotlight. So I added the hit markers. I don't know if these are going to work or not. going to see. So basically, as it says, it shows a, a, a white cross for normal hits uh, red cross if you had a got a headshot or a green if you hit an ally then can stop slot crafting kill just because i want to uh, uh, scrap brass without locking my my crafting kill um can't always open trader because it's annoying as hell having to wait until the trader opens to to do anything to, to get a new quest or something like that it's just annoying i don't want that i'm not gonna stay at inside the trader for protection i spent the night sniping at uh, at pharaohs with the bow trying to get to my campfire and i did not go inside the trader that i could have just got inside and yeah i didn't do that i'm not gonna do that but I don't want to wait until it opens to do something or like rush at the end of the day before it closes before night. Uh, that's uh, horns for vehicles. I, I have this since the Alpha 21. I still haven't really tried it. Um, not for all the other vehicles, just a bicycle. Mod manager, which is presenting this interface, it's it's kind of bugged. It should present settings for, for example, the the backup manager, but it's not working. Now I added some UI mods. That's the thing I've I've been delaying the most was UI mods, but I'm just tired of not having the information I want. So I have the compass center highlight so that I know where is the center on the compass. So I know like where I'm actually aiming at. Uh, the compass stats. So I have the air temperature, which I don't care about. Wind speed, which I don't care about. Current elevation, which I care very much about. Then I have menu time. This just keeps uh, day and time while you are you are on the menu. Sometimes it's useful, like if you're on the trader menu and you want to know which day it is, you can exit the menu right and look at the day. But with this, you don't have to. You just look at the day on the menu. Two belt slot numbers because I have been counting. <laughs> numbers to see where my stuff is because i'm not used to my i'm still for years i have played for over seven thousand hours of seven days to die i have played with 10 mods 10 slots and now i have to switch to 15. so 
I'm not used to the numbers of this of my stuff. Too bad slot numbers. I have used this mod before. I like it, and that's that. Uh, land claim count option. This is on the manual, just so you can actually change that without like doing stuff on console. This is a different ammo dismantle mod. I'm gonna see if this works better for me or not. Otherwise, I'm gonna remove it. Uh, the Sam's working stuff, I had disabled that uh, at beginning of day one, so I have re-enabled it. This one has the lights. I don't particularly care for working sinks and stuff like that because I think they're kind of cheaty. Um, I like the working stoves because they look good, but otherwise, like, um, doesn't really make much of a difference for me. But light, yes, those make a difference for me. So I have those. All right. So after how long has this been already? Um, after 10 minutes of wabbling my mouth off, I'm going to look at this. So war difficulty settings, 90 days, 32 zombies, uh, blood moon count. Zombies day speed is jogging. Uh, I have no loot respawn this time around. Uh, the land climb block is count is three. That's the default apparently. But now you can actually see that on the menu. And uh, this is the first time I start in this game with the with these particular combination of mods. Uh, I created a test game so I could um, experiment with the mods. In particular, I needed to <clears throat> to edit the um, the two belt numbers. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Red Eagles uh, 69 two belt slot number. I had to edit that to make it fit this bar and add the extra numbers. All right, so this is the city, I hope. Um, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to craft some storage. Um, Got to mark here. Here. Gonna mark it. Uh, I think I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna track it because it always ends up badly. Okay. And then I'm gonna put away everything that um, I don't need to carry on me. Uh, and the poem. And I'm F8. Okay, I'm crafting the farm plot blocks instead of transporting clay, uh, nitrate, um, rotten food, at least until I get the bike. All right, I do have 1000 cash already. The, the glass was selling for 3000. Uh, I got, uh, oh, I was waiting for this one. Keep it. Okay. Now this is gonna make it much easier for me to get that cash. It is six six p.m. six thirty. Today is the last day I have to buy that. I'm gonna put point. I was going to put a point in harvest. Uh, 
I absolutely hate these guys. I should have tested uh, the hit mark on him. Did I put the point in Master Chef? I did. So the next point goes into salvage operations. Basically, I'm prioritizing the books that are going to give me the stuff I want. I haven't chosen a gun. Oh, roaming horde. This might be bad. It might give me the... Damn it, I crouched. I was going to press shift to run. I crouch instead. It looked like he wasn't going to run, and then he decided to go run. Um, I'm gonna heal. I don't like using this, but I don't want to get hungry because I'm healing naturally. This guy is such a pain in the ass. guy is running. This, the rage mechanic is so annoying sometimes. Come on, I hit you dozens of times. I I give up. Let's try to make see if can't hear me if I make noise. Seriously, what's going on that I cannot hit him? Okay, the hit marker is working.
let's move back. She's running. Not a particularly good runner. Like this guy, are, uh, most of the female zombies are very good runners. Hit. Okay, I wanted to fight so that for the experience. I don't think I have a replacement for the club. Not the club, the baton. I have two arrows? Damn it. Can I repair this? I can. Whew, two arrows, huh? This is better than what I have. I'll take out the bandolier. Modify, add the bandolier. Where this and this one gonna scrap her. Stuff. Okay, let's keep it. wanted to do something here so let's see here uh, 5 150 200 270 270 470 500 600 620 640 670 Yeah, I need way more than that Oh, I should have brought the repair kit as well Yes, I'm gonna sell that. Or no. No. Uh, again, because again, I'm going for intellect and this playthrough. My base idea is basically centered around um, well, I'll sell it if I have no other alternative. Because that's, I think that will pretty much put me on where I need to be. Hmm. You'll get this, 10.
should have brought some of that food. Did I bring the cooking pot or did I leave it there? I'm being very unlucky with the With the food that may cause uh, uh, this injury, I'm getting this injury every time. Stay off stuff. Come on. Until the night falls, I can loot here without too much trouble because I can run away. Uh, the vehicle book it's really paying off that uh, assignment I'm a manual. So I know it's getting very close to the time I have to move on. I need that for the purified water. I right, purified water on day one. It's that's absurdly good, you know. Time to move on. Not gonna wrench for the night. Wrenching does a lot of sound, so unless I can like nerd ball somewhere to do that, not doing it. Okay, cash. stuff here for now. Seeds, yucca. Okay, anything else on here? I do not bring that the Try. 
Okay. Have my stupid lights on. 